Good evening, children. It's Granny Macduff, ready with a story. So make yourselves comfy, and I'll begin. Once upon a time, in the middle of winter, when an abundance of snow lay on the ground, a young boy called Frederick was told by his mother to take his sleigh and fetch wood for their fire. Go fetch some wood, little Freddy, so that we might keep a fire through the day and night, she said. Take the sleigh, but be back before nightfall. I will, mother, he replied. You see, it was a terribly cold day, and their wood pile was quite small. And so little Frederick fastened his horse, Noble, to the sleigh, and off they went. Before long, the boy's face was covered in ice, and he pulled Noble to a stop, for he had spotted a good amount of branches from a fallen tree. Once he had collected the branches, he packed them into his sleigh. But by the time he had finished, little Frederick was so cold that he wished he could build a small fire just to warm himself and Noble a bit before their journey home. He dug a hole in the snow, and when he was scraping the last bits of ice away from the ground, Frederick found a tiny golden key. My goodness, Noble, look what I've found, he said to his horse. If the key is here, the lock must not be far away. So he dug and scraped through the snow until he came upon a large iron chest. If the key fits he said. There's no doubt the box must hold some treasure. He searched and searched, but saw no keyhole. Noble snuffed and whinnied. Frederick knew he must be quick, for the sun was quickly disappearing below the horizon and bitter frost was beginning to set in. Finally, he found it. A keyhole so small you could barely see it. And would you know, the key fit exactly. Frederick turned the lock. And the lid opened, casting a bright golden light on Frederick. Out popped a tiny fellow, no bigger than your thumb. He wore a pointy blue hat and a blue suit. And so you found me, child, said he. What is your name? asked Frederick. The name's Paddy Tiny Toes. I'm a leprechaun, you see, from the great land of Ireland. Where have I landed? This is Ireland, Mr. Tiny Toes. Ah, oh, good. Still in my homeland, I see, then. I didn't think leprechauns were real. Well, you see me now, boy, and aren't I a mighty sight? No one in the county could beat me. Old Paddy's got tricks up his sleeve left, I tell you. Yes, he does. Why did they lock you in the box? Box? This is no box, but a magical chest. Indeed it is. And it's home to me. Got some magic to share, but only for good little children. Oh, I am good, Mr. Tiny Toes. I'm here looking for wood so my family might keep warm tonight. Well then, you are a good little boy. Yes, sir, I try, replied Frederick. Then I shall share me magic with you. Anyone who looks into me magical chest will have their imagination come to life. Now, mind you, it's not a wish, but what's in your soul? And Frederick looked inside, and the light shined bright upon his face. And he saw it all in vivid colours, and not long after, it was true. And he smiled and said to old Paddy, I wish that all the children in the world might look into your magical chest, Mr. Tiny Toes, so they might let their imagination take flight, so they might believe anything is possible. Anything is possible, child. It's just a matter of looking into yourself to see it. And you've seen it in me mirror. When Frederick looked back into the chest, he saw that that was right. The light shining was a reflection of the sun, for all that was inside was a mirror in which he could see his true self. The End Thank you.
And now it's time to take a deep breath, close our eyes, so that we may drift off into a world of our own adventure. Good night, children.